tour around Huey this morning and well half past eight we're going it's like 25 past now this is a tour group they recommended by my friend who travelled around the world with her son last year the tour the company is called I Love Huey and it is female riders who take you around there's various different tours that they do they do like a nighttime tour various daytime ones and we're going on one today I've just checked the weather. It is 100% chance of rain and storms all day. It's not raining or storming at the moment, but I'm sure it will do. Never mind. Come Let's go. Look, get complimentary bananas and coffee and sweets. Grab a banana. You can see that's rice tea. Ah, yeah. 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 it like that. But uh, we haven't eaten yet. Mm. We have to take out the, the cover. Yes. And this is the machine to take out the cover. And you have to make it by hand. Everything here I have to make by hand. Yeah. Always singing while walking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's you. Wow, hard work. Hard work. Yeah. 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 So she sing to reduce. Yes, the yes, yeah. Like the, the vein coat. This one. Wow. Seat belt. 
<laughs> Long <leg. laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it hard? <laughs> you know that I'm falling and I don't know what to say. I'll a little louder, I'll even shout. You know that I'm proud and I can't get a word out. So this is the king's tomb. Oh my goodness. Do you like our nice little rain jackets that we've got in? We are absolutely drenched the bike from the country that we were just in then with the farm and stuff to here. It absolutely poured down. So we've got these snazzy little rain jackets we're now at. I've forgotten the name, I'll insert it here. The name of the um, of the, uh, the 12th King's Tomb is where we are. Did you know? What? No, I don't know what, I don't know what it's called. I just know it's the 12th King's Tomb. It's actually, oh, there's an elephant, look. Do not sit, do not sit on the elephant, on a horse. Oh my goodness, you look really cool. <laughs> oh, careful. <laughs> Oh, look, all structures in this area said is memorial to the emperor. Look at this rain. If I don't want to go back out in it. <laughs> it's horrible. Ready? Let's go. Did you hear that from there? Come on. He's cleaning his feet in the puddles. <laughs> Don't know whether that, that works particularly, is it? Oh, I think we're at the top here. This is where the king is buried, in here, I think. Ah, so it's the Thin Dean Palace. Clean your shoes. We got filthy on the, um, on the bikes coming up here. Let's go. When we were in here by ourselves, our little tall people didn't come in because they're students or something, they can't come in. But they gave us like a little information thing about it before, before we came in. Oh, look at this room. This is, I'm assuming, the two Oh, look at the ceiling, look at like the monster things, dragons, monster things. Whoa, decorations, it's all like mosaic made out of glass. Wow. These decorations are absolutely beautiful. They're amazing. Like, look at the leaves and things. So pretty. Wow. And I thought the other room was impressive. This is imp oh no. This is the two is the main yeah, Emperor's grave. Look at this room. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, so the 
emperor's grave, the face of the emperor's maze with his bronze statue book cast in front in 1920. There's his statue. And his remains, wow. Stephen's not very impressed with this place. Are you at all? Very interested in history. Actually, no, that's a lie. He's only he's interested in history, but only if it's like war history. This doesn't interest him at all. <laughs> right, we're done in here now. We're going to go back out and find our the lady bikers on to the next place. Come on, baby. the river, some views, so pretty. I'm gonna go for some lunch now. You hungry Stephen? Yeah. We've arrived at the place we're going for lunch. This looks nice. Look. How pretty is this? <laughs> State of Stephen is absolutely filthy down there. It's rained all the way here. And sour soup. Wow. Yes. Mm. And then rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> and then put with this sauce. <laughs> We've just eaten lunch. That was so delicious. This is a vegetarian restaurant. And so. It was perfect. I'm so full. It's like a little garden restaurant. It's beautiful. The sun's come out now. We're at the pagoda tin. I don't know how to say it. I'll put it at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> These three handsome blokes. Do you want a banana? It's a happy butter. This is the, um, the prayer room. They've shut the door, so it's the afternoon time, but this is what it looks like inside. That little hut thing there is for the monks to read or relax or whatever. And the houses, they live just over there as well. These are the drawers that were closed before, they're open now. They're all praying. You said what? That was the last stop on the tour, I think. I think it's back home. <laughs> tour that was really really good I'm not normally a fan of organized tours and things like that but that was brilliant honestly we got a cool t-shirt and I love way t-shirt we look like a proper tourist all day no but that was a uh, that was brilliant it was really really good it cost $28 each, each which I have no idea what that is in pounds 20 22 pounds each something like that and but that's like you, that's your lunch included lunch was so so good you to pay extra for like the things that you go and do when, like, when we went to the tombs and things we have to pay extra for that but but like the coffee and the lunch and everything all included so nice right i'm gonna relax a bit no i'm not i'm gonna do some work we're heading out there's been a brief pause in all the rain so i'm about to get run over by a million bikes Nope, I'm good. Um, yeah, a bit of brief pause in the rain, so we're heading out. We're gonna go and get something to eat and check out what sort of Halloween y things are going on. I really want to have my face painted or something. I'm gonna do that anywhere. 
without asking too much, I think maybe it is. Also on the list of things to do tonight is my bag. It's not even that cold, I don't know why I've got my jacket on, but I've got it on. Um, my bag is broken or breaking, can you see? It's about to break any second. This is my new bag that um, I got as a little present in Hanoi. It didn't last very long either. It's badly made or I stuffed too much stuff in it and it's too heavy. Our choice of where to eat very kind of tired of forward because as we were walking along, this happened. It started absolutely pissing down, so we kind of just stopped at the nearest place. Oh look, we got some free fries whilst we're deciding what we want to eat. Nice. Our first person in Halloween costume. She's a little, I don't know, witch something or other. We've just finished our lovely tea. It was delicious. We are kind of making a run for it, potentially home, potentially somewhere else, whilst it's not raining. My Halloween has been very disappointing this year. I've, uh, to be honest, I've had a lovely day. It's just not been a traditional Halloween. But to be honest, I am allergic to Halloween. Oh, no. I'm allergic to Halloween. Every Halloween, I don't know whether it's hard, well it sounds a stupid thing, I don't know. I don't think it is pumpkins. I don't, I think, I think I'm allergic, every year around Halloween, I get weird illnesses, like, like, like it's almost like an allergic reaction, like I get rashes and I get ill and stuff. I think that what it is, is I do a lot of, no, I don't think it is. I, possibly, maybe I'm allergic to pumpkins, but I'm sure I've cooked with pumpkins other times of the year and I haven't had any yeah, sort of reaction. Me? No, I think, I think what the issue is potentially orange food colouring. Me and my sister had this theory because at Halloween I do a lot of um, like baking or like Halloween-y like treats like I do like meringue with the kids I make like, yeah popcorn popcorn brains. popcorn brains and meringue ghosts and like cookies that run things and oh I know what I love um stuffed bell pepper uh pumpkins they were good one year and like it looked like like the rice and stuff was splitting out of the mouth they were cool anyway I do loads of like proper Halloween -y style cooking -y stuff and I, I love it I absolutely love Halloween it's my second most favourite time of the year after Christmas. But anyway, I do all of that stuff. My camera is um, <laughs> shadowing my face. So I use orange food colouring and it's the only time of the year when I use orange food colouring. Things that we don't, we, our bodies don't respond well to, we automatically kind of don't like. And I hate, I've always hated, orange flavoured things. Like, like when you have like, open, oh, they're not called open fruits anymore, what are they called? They starburst. But any type of sweets, I hate the orange sweets. Yeah, and I hate Fanta, like Fanta, like any orange flavoured things. I can't stand it, I absolutely hate it. And so my sister said that maybe it's because I'm like allergic to it in some way, and so I, we thought, think this could be complete. I'm rambling on about garbage. I think it is. <laughs> you think it's garbage? Yeah. yeah. But I think it's orange food colouring that I'm allergic to. I'm going with that. Anyway. I'm going now because I've talked rubbish. I'm probably gonna, yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Hope you've had a wonderful Halloween, whatever you've done. Let me know how you celebrate it, where you live. Do you go out to the season? What do you do? You missed Halloween this year? Yeah. Yeah. We've missed it. Anyway, let me know down in the comments what you do. Thanks. Where are you going? Right, I'm ending it. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Right, thanks for watching. Say goodnight. He's not, he's, he's going, right, I'll end it then. So thanks for watching, I hope you've had a wonderful Halloween. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Where are you? Oh there. Goodbye, see you tomorrow.